Get ready to hotwire a car that doesn't work. GameRanks brings you the 10 things Grand Theft Auto 5 players hate. Number 10. With how great Grand Theft Auto's cars handle, racing is often a really fun thing to do. But sometimes cars will do things that absolutely no driver would do in real life, like that. Did you see that? Basically the car decided that it was going to drive out of the lane and then back into the lane for no reason. And that's really stupid, both from a driving and an artificial intelligence perspective. Yeah, the game isn't exactly realistic, and it'd be different if this were an uncommon occurrence, but it's not really the kind of lack of realism that's excusable. Come on, Rockstar, glitchy traffic, AI, no patience for that. Number 9. Multiplayer Hate Mail Grand Theft Auto V's multiplayer experience is insane. It's so good, I'm sure it's destroyed marriages. I, I, like, I'm positive. But when some stupid kid that you beat or something decides to figure out some way to make you feel bad about yourself, because, you know, that's what their life's about, it's not so much that it actually hurts anyone's feelings, it's that you know that you share the world with somebody who would spend their time doing this. Kid, I don't care that you play Black Ops. I don't care how I would play Black Ops if I were to play it, and also you don't know that. Also, this kid is basically like the all that Ross Perot. I got 60 billion dollars. Number eight, racing with random people. Part of said online multiplayer experience, which is fantastic, is the racing component. We've actually talked about it once in this video already. A lot of people don't take it quite as serious as they could, and that pretty much makes you a dick from whatever perspective you have. Number seven, certain statistics showing up on the social club. I can't help but wonder if this was something that actually happened in real life, where if you went somewhere, people saw this, if people would just stop being perverts altogether. Oh wait, I think I just had an answer for that. No, no it wouldn't, because every single time I go into the stupid social club, I see some idiot actually spending their time on Grand Theft Auto Online getting quote-unquote personal dances. Like, you're really spending your time on an online video game that you can do heist stunts, impossible things, things you could never do in real life. Doing that? Oh, yeah, ignore my profile. Just, just, get a, get a, go. stop looking at my profile on the social club. Number six. What the hell is this? <clears throat> Sorry. But yeah, that song's really annoying, the beeping one. Half the time I get into a damn car, it's beep, 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 Like, can you randomly select something that's not so annoying? Thanks, Grand Theft Auto V. Number five, birds and skydiving. It's not the most common occurrence, I admit, but it happens. So you're skydiving, you're doing something really cool, and oh, hey, Mr. Bird, I didn't see you there, and I can't react to it because that's just, I mean, that's just not happening. That's too fast of a reaction time. So right, that's pretty fair, right? You guys agree? I thought not. Number four, racing supercars. Because does anyone out there actually know how to drive supercars? It seems like no one does. You count down, you start the race, and oh, everybody hits each other. And the annoying thing is that nine out of 10 races seem to be with supercars. Am I just the only one who doesn't like this? Come on, give me a sedan race where we can actually race, because everybody seems to be able to control those a little bit better. Sure, they're not as glamorous, they're not as fast, they're not as cool, but it's an actual race that people can take part in and race, you know? Number three, disappointing heist teammates. Probably the best part of GTA V's multiplayer is heists. We waited a long time for them, and when we got them, they were everything we asked for, at least in my opinion. But nothing ruins a heist quicker than having a teammate who has no idea what they're doing, spends 33 minutes on the hacking minigame, immediately shoots witnesses, or just plain does something stupid like walking their head directly into the helicopter blades. Yeah, I get it, you gotta start somewhere. You can't just immediately be good at everything in the world, but do you gotta start on my heist team? I mean, I don't understand, I don't see the reason, I don't get why I get paired up with people that don't know what they're doing. Number two, being in the front of a race. Now starting in the front makes it sound like you're going to be able to maintain a position in the front, but that is just not the case, especially knowing that you're sort of randomly put there, not based on skill level or how good your car is. And anytime anybody in Grand Theft Auto V sees something that they can take advantage of, they do. They might have a better car, they might have more upgrades, but whatever they do, they're going to attempt to destroy you and put you into last place, which is very difficult to recover from. Because it's not a last place where you get to start at the same speed as everybody else, you usually get ground to a screeching halt. 
To state it in the most simple possible terms, to boil it down, to be frank. I hate starting first in races. And the number one thing that Grand Theft Auto 5 players hate, Rockstar. Give us more time after we die to see whatever happens. Part of the reason a lot of us are playing the game is because we can do just ridiculous things. And those ridiculous things usually end in us dying, and the moments after us dying are the funniest moments of those ridiculous things. This is not a joke. We climb up mountains to see the silliest way we can skydive off it and land like an idiot. We know there's no way to survive it, too. And frankly, once the ragdoll physics take over, that's when the funniest stuff happens. Well, that was 10 things Grand Theft Auto 5 players hate. Don't forget to like the video and leave us a comment, pick whichever one you think is the worst, or if we miss something, make sure and let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Game Ranks. We put up new videos every single day, stuff like this, funny stuff, more informational stuff, giveaways. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.